Hi, uh, today we will be talking about the working of a vein pump and I have drawn a, a vein pump exactly over here. So let's identify the main components of a vein pump. So this is the pump housing. This is the pump housing as it's marked over here. And we have uh, the driving rotor which is marked in uh, green. We have the veins which are marked in uh, red. We have a control ring at the center. And uh, this is the inlet and this is the outlet. So these are the main components of a vein pump. So let's see how a vein pump works. Uh, so this is the center of the pump housing as you can see over here but uh, you can see that this green color driving rotor is eccentrically placed from the center of the pump housing see, this is somewhere the center of this uh, driving rotor is coming so this is actually this much distance away from the center of the pump housing so it is eccentrically placed from uh, the pump housing it has a proper purpose to save so uh, we'll see it when the working is explained and this uh, driving rotor has got slots you can see the black marked are the slots and inside these slots we have uh, these red colored veins which are placed over here and on the center which is uh, marked in black we have uh, the control ring which is helping uh, these veins to be held in its position or this control ring is uh, controlling the position of uh, these wheels so let's see how it works as the driving a uh, rotor rotates as it is eccentrically uh, eccentrically placed uh, towards the uh, pump house then we can see that the distance of these wheel weights from the center of the driving uh, rotor is different in each position uh, here you can see this is the inlet and this is the outlet so as it is rotating in clockwise direction here the area is less and gradually it is uh, increasing so a suction is happening uh, at this port and uh, the oil or the fluid is sucked from this port and is swept or it is swept uh, by the help of these waves which is trapped inside this container and it is pressurized and when it reaches uh, this portion gradually the area is reducing over here and the inlet port is open so gradually the oil or the fluid which is trapped here will be pressurized and will be pushed outside to the outlet that's how uh, a vein pump actually uh, works uh, and you can see how the veins move due to this control ring placed over here this vein uh, these veins are supposed to slide uh, to and fro through these slots inside the driving uh, rotor so uh, due to the centrifugal force you can see these veins are uh, connected towards the outer uh, ring or uh, the pump housing outer portion uh, with the help of this control ring so it we switch towards the outer portion which traps the oil and sweeps it away towards the outlet port and when it further rotates at this portion you can see when it further rotates you can see um, these slots will be more of a slot or the more area of a slot will be produced over here which will allow these veins to move inside and uh, it will be controlled with the help of this control ring which will be always in the center of this uh, vein pump. Uh, that's how simply a vein pump works and the advantage of the vein pump is that the vein pump is capable of giving a continuous flow uh, compared towards the uh, pulsating flow of a, a gear pump and I hope you understand the vein pump. For more details on vein pump on, and also on automobile engineering and hydraulics technologies, you can uh, visit my blog which is www.techfreaksinfo.com. Thanks for listening.